Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I'm so excited for today's video. Sorry, um, the camera just moved because today we are doing my monthly makeup haul and I needed to call in some reinforcements. We got this big freaking basket here taking up all the space, shaking up all the cameras. I'm so sorry, but it's going to be a good one. So first, if you guys like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and without further ado, let's just get started. Anyway, oh my gosh, y'all, we have so many things to talk about. Like we're going to have to rapid fire this because I've been trying to get my videos under 25 minutes. It's not going over well, but let's keep trying that. We'll see if this goes because this is a lot of products, honestly. What I realized that this month that ended up like happening basically is that I feel like I got a lot of products, yes. I mean, I, I spent a lot of money, yes, but I got a lot of products because I spent, um, I bought so much with like the amount versus other months where I spend a lot of money but I only get like one, like it, it'll be one expensive eyeshadow or something like that. And so it ends up being like not that many products. This time it's a freaking crap ton of products and I'm like, whoa, so shocked. So let's start off. The beginning of the month actually was the um, Ulta fall haul event or whatever, fall event. Let me try to organize this a little bit. So a bunch of their products were on like major, major sale. Um, this order only cost $37.42 and I'll show you all the products that I got. Um, I do, the one thing I don't have with me is just upstairs is the Tree Hut Cocoa Colada Shea Sugar Scrub. Originally $10, I got it for seven bucks, so that was nice. But I usually only talk about makeup in these videos because we'll be here all day. But I did pick up the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil, which you guys have seen me use in a bunch, of bunch of videos. I'm obsessed. I also did pick up the Ulta Beauty um, Brow Gel, which I also have been obsessed with. So that was a great, like, duo there. This one I haven't used that much, but I bought a, got a bunch of Wet n Wild products because they are super cheap in general. But when they're, like, on sale, they go even cheaper. So it was perfect. So I got uh, a bunch of complexion products. I picked up the Glass Correct Primer. I've only used this once. I did really like it when I used it. I just have to use it more. This lip color makes my teeth look, teeth look black. It's interesting. But <laughs> anyway, um, I have to use it more, but I did like it when I used it. I also have the Photo Focus Dewy Foundation. I'm so glad to have this back in my collection. I love the way this looks so good. I really it was excited to try the Wet n Wild Incognito Concealer. It actually, actually is pretty, pretty good. I mean, I have so many good concealers, it's hard to like love one more than the others, but this one's good. So I enjoyed that. And then the star of the show probably from the Wet n Wild stuff, the Wet n Wild Bare Focus Clarifying Finishing Powder. It's probably just because I use it the most and I really do like it. It is a nice setting powder. I'm so really happy about that. Was that everything? No, then the last thing was, let's find it because I just threw it in here earlier because I'm wearing it today. Um, it's the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Charmer. I love this like plummy kind of color. It's like it's so deep that it's like kind of like a black or like a brown, but it's plum. So it like has a little bit of dimension to it and it makes my eyeshadow like look a little bit more purpley plum. So it's really, really nice. I love the cream gel formula and I was really happy about that. I got that one for a couple bucks. Again, that whole order was only $37. Like it was a great deal, but like I did not need all those products. <laughs> and then I placed an order at Sephora because I saw that they were doing this gift. So this was a free gift with a $25 purchase at Sephora, the Kosas Revealer Skin Improving Foundation. So I was like, oh my gosh, I need to get something for 20, over $25. So I picked up the Too Faced um, Secret Santa palette. I only used it that one time. I did use it in a video, but I did like it. So I have to, again, keep using it. I, I mean, maybe I'll do a video like second impressions of products I've only used once because like I've used it, <laughs> but not enough, clearly. It smells good. Um, and I like these Too Faced palettes a lot. The last few years, these Too Faced, tin, the mini ones have been ugly. But this year, they kind of came back out with basic neutrals that I feel like I'm going to use. And I've been obsessed with this foundation. So I'm very happy to have that. That order costs $31.32. So right now, I'm at $68.74. $68 already. But I have a, for that price, for $68, I got a lot of stuff, you know, already. So again, like I said, I spent a lot of money, but I spent, I got a lot of products. Um, then we did the ColourPop Mystery Box. So another thing where you get like a lot of products for your doll, for your buck. So I paid $51.94 for this box. 50 bucks basically for Mystery Box. I'm trying to, ooh, easiest way to do this. But I have the sponge still, which is hanging around. Um, I just haven't used it yet because 
I have so many sponges, like I'm not gonna use it just to use it, you know? Okay, yes. I also got the Bambi Lux Gloss Trio. I only kept this one because I know I'm not gonna use the rest. And um, this one's really nice, honestly. I could probably top it off here, but it'll make it black. But I like these colors. It's, the glitters are just, you can feel the glitter, so it's not my favorite. But I do have that. I got rid of an eyeshadow palette. Um, Powerpuff Clips. I have them upstairs. Um, again, I don't really show those to you. Falsies, the lashes, I do have those. I've only worn them that once in that video, um, but I really did like them, and I gotta play around with them more because they're so freaking gorgeous. I love those lashes. I honestly want more ColourPop lashes. Um, the Lizzie McGuire gloss I got rid of. So Dangerous Lust Lipstick Kit, got rid of that. Fresh Kiss Cream Lip, I do have. Again, I've only worn it that one time in the video. But it was so pretty, and it's just a nice, like, neutral shade. Like, I would definitely wear this with a deeper lip liner. I just have to... I... It's just a long story. I just have to wear it, basically. <laughs> you guys like this lip color? I'm kind of feeling it. I mean, today's Halloween when you guys are seeing this. So it's kind of very aesthetic, right? Um, <laughs> on brand. Um, but then we have the Feather Effect Brow Pen, which you guys know is the current love of my life. I'm just obsessed with this brow pen. I use it nonstop. Um... I 10 out of 10 recommend. It is so tiny that it just creates the perfect brow strokes. I'm not wearing it today, finally, but I've been wearing it literally every other day since since I got it. Um, and then I have, they got, there's a liquid liner in like, there's a blue shade, which was stupid. There is a literally obsessed with I don't wear. Um, then there's the two palettes. So um, I did keep both of them. I've used the plush like me. Like I, I, the only time I used it was in that video, but I did really enjoy it. I know, how many products do I have that I've used once? a lot and it's just because especially eyeshadow palettes i've gotten so many eyeshadow palettes these past few months and you'll see i got some pr that i was not expecting and like i could cry right now even just saying that is so surreal but um of eyeshadow palettes so like this one is probably not gonna get used again for a while but i loved it when i did use it and then again we do have the witching hour one which i think i need to use i know like it's halloween's over now but i really do want to use it for something i probably should have just done a look with it today but we are, again, we have, we're trying new makeup again today, so we try new makeup every day, so, um, but excited about that, glad I got that. So, to me, all in all, worth $50, heck yeah, like, I got so many goodies. These two alone, like, okay, maybe not worth $50, but, like, these products here, um, definitely worth $50, $50 in my humble opinion, but not everyone will think so, that's okay, but, um, I thought so, so. <laughs> Alright, so then I placed another order at Sephora, and I picked up the Sephora Must Holiday Must Have kit. I don't have the entire box anymore because honestly it would have just taken up too much space either way, but I have all the most of the products here. There was two skincare products that I have somewhere. I haven't used them yet, but whatever. Um, they have a KVD tattoo liner, which I love. Natasha Nona Retro Gram Palette. I really do like these shadows, honestly, um, and I need to, again, use them more. The ABH um, Brow Free Styling Wax. I always like to show you guys because I use this sucker a lot. And I want you guys to just see how much I use it. I love this guy. It's so good. Um, like 10 out of 10 would recommend, honestly. Um, the Little Love Blush. Honestly, well, let me actually mention those last. So then the Urban Decay All Nighter. Um, I really, really like those four products that I just mentioned are amazing. Like the Urban Decay All Nighter, the Brow Freeze, the Natasha Nona, and the KVD. Like those are so, so good. 10 out of 10. The rest of the kit to me, eventually, like at first it was like, oh yeah, it's still exciting. But, like, me, I don't use any of the rest of the products at all. So, to say it's worth $58, or I paid $58 probably with tax, so maybe around $55. Like, I would probably, because even if, I, although buying all those, these four products separately probably would be around, because the, the, Natasha Nona doesn't normally sell these, but this year she came out with a little three pan glam palette or whatever, or whatever eyeshadow palette. It is, and it's $20, like $20 for this, and then this is a full size, so this is probably 20-something dollars, and then the KVD is also a full size, so again, probably 20-something dollars, um, so I guess really, it, those four products alone would be worth it, but, um, the rest of the products basically I just don't use as well, I was trying to tell you, the Ilia Limit, whatever, Lash Mascara, is it the, Limit, the Limitless Lash Mascara, it's just a fine mascara, I don't need it in my life. Um, the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the shade Fussy, I just don't remember it being like this. And someone said it in their video, they are like, this is a lot warmer than I remember. And same, it's giving like a lot more orangey than I thought it was. And so on the lips, it looks crazy. But then also, like, the they gave this lip product, this eyeshadow palette, this cool tone eyeshadow palette, a warm tone lip, and then a peachy blush. Like, this combo is not to be worn together, which is fine, because obviously I don't really wear it together unless I'm talking about those items. But still, still like a little weird. 
But then again, the blush in the shade Joy, I'm going to keep this around, I think, until summer because I feel like I'll get use out of it in summer. But it's a very peachy kind of blush that, like, is just a lot for my skin tone, honestly, right now. So, I don't know. But there's that. Okay. So, again, that costs $58.32. Again, I got a lot of products for that amount. So, uh, right now, my total is, with the ColourPop Mixture Box as well, $179. So then I placed two back-to-back -back Ulta orders, which I don't know what I was thinking. But most of the time, if I'm placing an Ulta order, is because something is either come out that I don't want to go, like, out of stock. Um, I'm using my points or, like, they have a multiplier. So I honestly don't know why this one. I think this one was there were some sale products that I didn't want to miss out on. Okay, there's a I have a coupon here that says, like, I got $15 off. So I don't know why that was, but I placed this, this, this next Ulta order. So I got the... Um, Benefit Cheek the Mail. I'm so glad that I got this, honestly. It is so good. I uh, Well, two of these products. This product and then the This Is Milky Gloss. I picked up Chocolate to Shake. Shake. I honestly wish I would have got just these two products and moved on with my life. Because the rest of the four products, the other three products, oh my gosh. I can't, well, we'll talk about them. But I'm so excited about this um, palette. I love it so much. It's so good. One of my favorite products in general right now. Um, one of my favorite products that I've got this month, but amazing. And then the This Is Milky Gloss, also amazing. I was so surprised that I used this because it is so good. It truthfully is so good, so pretty on the lips. I love this color, and I think it looks so nice on my tan skin, especially for the fall. Um, so freaking good. So, boom. So there was that. So actually, I lied. I didn't place two back-to-back -back Ulta orders. I placed, I went online, then I got in-store, but this one's still from the online order. This is the LA Girl Keep It Play Play Playful 9 color palette. I got this. 10-3, so the beginning of the month, and I still have yet to use it. Um, but I wanted it because Juicy Jazz loves this formula, and I wanted to try it. I think eventually I want to do a full face of LA Girl, but um, because I have so many favorites that I want to tell you about, but like it's never, like it never, I feel like I still have to buy so much for the full space that it either takes me too long, or like I have to slowly, it'll take me like a while to slowly get the products, or I really just don't want to try all their products, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes it's hard, but I, I think about it. So maybe if they come out with like more complexion products, I'll probably do it. But I feel like that's where their downfall is because like their eye products are amazing. So I wanted to try the eyeshadow palette. It's a perfect, you know, basic nude kind of palette, neutral kind of um, warm tone palette that's for fall. So I thought that would be perfect. I just haven't used it yet, but it's nice. I mean, but it looks nice. <laughs> I did pick up a lip liner and a lipstick, that were also based off Juicy Jazz's recommendations. Um, it was a color fat, color fetish, color fetish matte lipstick from Milani in the shade Desire, and then the LA Girl Shockwave lip liner in the shade Chai Latte. Again, I love the LA Colors lip liners as well. But I gave those both to my sister because they were a little dark for me. I did use them in a video a few videos back, so if you guys want to check it out. Um, but they were just too dark for me and I didn't like the convo on myself I don't like browns like that and so I gave it to my sister she's a deeper complexion and it looks so good on her and I was like girl you need this combo so like, if this looks good on you you could keep it and sure enough it did so for that order I cost $54.13 wait what yeah $54 again I saved $15 so that's saying a lot um but again I got so many like this alone I think is $36 like that's a great deal honestly and so my total right now is 233.13 i think about around this time i decided oh well actually a couple orders so we'll talk about that in a second okay so then ulta in store i was in there with my mom and we were checking out the maybelline lip products because she wanted something long lasting and i know like people talk about maybelline a lot so we were looking at those and she was like dang they're expensive i was like yeah i know um, but she picked up a couple, so I was like, okay, I'll pick up a couple, so, or I'll pick up one. Um, so this is the Superstay Vinyl Ink. I love this stuff, and I wish I got a more nude shade. It's in the shade 10 Lippy, because it looked like it would be a nice, I mean, it's a nice color. Like, don't get me wrong, it's a really pretty color. I just, it's very specific, like, I can't wear with every single look. Um, but I do like this color. I just would have got, wish I got a more nude color, because this one was nice. Like, I really like the way it kind of, the finishes, and then the way it, like, stays on your lips a little bit. Like, it's really, really unique and really fun. Anyway, I also picked up the Milani Liquid Contour in the shade Zero Two Ginger. I love this guy as well. These are my favorites. I'm obsessed. Um, this one wasn't in my favorites because I've only used it like once or twice, but it is really, really nice. Um, but the Milani one, I can't put down. Like, I literally cannot stop using. So, obsessed with this combo. Yes. 10 out of 10. 
All right, then we went back to, Sof to Sephora. Oh my gosh, we're like going back and forth. We got back, going back to the Sephora because, why did I place this order? I think there was a points multiplier this day. Sephora does it every now and then. Ulta does it way more often, but I believe this, let me see. Let me see. I don't know if it tells you on Sephora because Ulta will tell you like the points and stuff like that. Um, Ulta doesn't always, I mean, Sephora doesn't always do that. Okay, yeah, it doesn't tell me, but I'm pretty sure it was like 100 extra points or something like that if you bought, I don't know, something. Um, because I end up paying like $60 for this and using Afterpay. Usually, if I, if I, if I, if I, if I want something and I can wait, like I'll wait on it. Unless, it, again, same as before, if, unless it's something like they give me some something extra and I'm pretty sure it was like a points multiplier I already got multiple points but anyway I picked up the Charlotte Tilbury I was it called mini high mini beauty highlighter wand duo set it actually comes with a blush and a highlighter but they're really really nice they're super super small but they're I mean not super small they're I think they're a good size because I will never use them if they're five milliliters but they're so good like I really I'm glad that I picked this set up um, because I would have never tried it if I didn't. And I hope like next year they do a set with like maybe the contour one. That would be really nice um, because I want to try that, but I'm not going to pay $40. I had it in my favorites list while I was out of stock, came back into stock, and then I looked at it and said, $40 for you? That's a lot of dollars. So maybe not. <laughs> but hopefully they do another little mini set. Um, but I also picked up the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in the shade Peppermint. Um, I've wanted this for years, honestly. I missed it last year. I had to do it this year. Um, I've been using it quite a bit, honestly. I'm panning so many, like, lip balms, lip masks. Next year, I probably won't, obviously, like, once I use them up, I won't purchase as many, so I won't need to focus on so many at a time. Um, but this one will have a lot of use out of it, but um, I, I really do love that. So I'm glad that I picked that up. Again, that order, though, was $59. 36 which again I wouldn't just buy that to buy it and pay with afterpay like just for fun I'm pretty sure it was like a hundred um points bonus or something like that so I was like um yes so at this point I'm at $316.47 this is all by the 7th of October and I said okay like let's just do a $350 call so I'm already at 316 I don't know why I thought $15 I was gonna only spend $15 I really was not expecting first of all, I wasn't expecting as much to come out as it did and um yeah so it really took me by surprise I also was gonna count like the sale well I, I did and the and the VIB sale I was expecting to buy stuff from that but I knew that it would be in November mostly so it wouldn't count toward this month so that's why I was like 350 sounds good but I'm an idiot so I placed an alter ego order because they came out with the new Harmony eyeshadow palette I have yet to use it but she's a stunner she's stunning and I believe it's the dupe for um the Natasha Nona retro palette right maybe not but like these look similar I think so they look similar enough like if I was gonna do a dupes I probably would dupe these um, because I don't have the full size and I'm not gonna buy the full size just to dupe it but <laughs> I think it's this one but anyway look how stunning it is isn't it so gorgeous um, and so now that I remembered the person's code that I used to use um, every time Alter Ego comes out with a palette I'm gonna buy it because it's my favorite and I wish that I could obviously like not that I wish I could afford Natasha Nona because dupe palettes are so controver controversial but I feel like when it comes to um, someone like scamming you basically for your money, like selling their name versus someone selling quality, like to me, Lunar Beauty is so good. They sell amazing quality, but that one time when I think Makeup Revolution like totally sold their packaging, like to me that was irritating because Makeup Revolution quality is nowhere near Lunar Beauty. So I was like, why are you trying to do? You're just trying to be a jerk, basically. Whereas Alter Ego, I feel like they're kind of. Like, we can do it for a cheaper price. Why is Natasha Nona doing it for so much, so expensive? In my opinion. I feel like this quality is just amazing. So I don't feel like I'm missing anything. So anyway, tangent over. I know people don't agree. But I picked up that. And then I also picked up a, I think it was a 12-piece brush set. Um, I don't have all the brushes in here because it was a bit, a bit a lot to bring them all the way down. Um, but they're really, really nice. So I love Ultrago's brushes. I'm very glad they picked them up. I paid $38.70, so we passed our budget by five bucks, so it was at $3.55.17, and of course we did not stop there. <laughs> Although, 
the next purchase was a very very inexpensive so that's why I was kind of like let's just do it it was the Laura Lee and She Glam products I needed it I want to like I love supporting youtubers I love of course obviously they don't need my support they have lots of money already but I love to just have something from their collections and I love that excuse me so I always like I don't always get the opportunity to but when I do I purchase it so this was 10 bucks on She Glam I love She Glam I know they always have coupons or free shipping whatever the case is so I knew that it would be in super inexpensive I paid ten dollars and fifty nine cents for this. I think it cost nine ninety nine, so it was like plus tax because I got free shipping. And I was like, I'm just gonna do it. You get a full size liquid blush and highlighter. Again, I've yet to use this. I'm gonna use this in a video coming up with the new Luna Beauty Advent Calendar when I get it, um, but it hasn't come yet. But um, I want to try. I was like, I might not use these colors a lot because Laura Lee's a little bit lighter, lighter than me, but I felt like it was just nice to have, and I really wanted to get it. And it's so pretty. Look how pretty she is. I love this. She's so cool. I love I love her YouTube videos. Even though she's straight away from makeup a little bit, I love her videos still. Anyway, again, that only cost me $10, so I was at $365.76. Like, it was like, to me, it wasn't that big of a deal. Until, <laughs> until Ulta, Ulta. Well, actually, it's Wet n Wild's fault. fault. They came out with the Peanuts collection, and I was dying. Also, Essence came out with, so let me show you this one first. Where is it? Essence came out with the Villains collection a little bit ago. I don't know if this is supposed to be their holiday or what, because this, the background's giving holiday, but I don't know if this is supposed, like, I don't know what, I don't know. I don't know what Essence does, but they came out with the Villains collection, and honey, first of all, Essence, like, released it on their Instagram. I was looking everywhere. It's not, it wasn't even on Essence's website, so I don't know, like, what, where it came out on different, like, on different countries, but it didn't come out here for Mad Long. And then they said, like, when they made a list of, like, places that it, and what date it came out, they didn't have U.S. at all. Like, I was literally, like, I'm confused. I don't understand. <laughs> anyway, so, um, I've been waiting, 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 and then it finally dropped on Amazon, I was looking at Amazon, but I was like, I don't know, like, I, there are some other products that I think I want, like, I don't know, I didn't know what I wanted, basically, I didn't know what was in the full collection either, because I didn't know, Amazon doesn't always have everything, so I was like, I don't know, I'll wait, so then it came out on Ulta, and I was like, oh my gosh, finally, so they came out with, like, three different eyeshadow palettes, um, mascara, like, so many products, I did pick up the Scar eyeshadow palette, because I thought the color scheme was the nicest, I'm actually wearing this today, and honestly, like, would you, like, would you be able to tell, no, because honestly, I used some of the fun colors, and I'm so excited, I feel like this is a great, great, great palette for right now, especially a great palette for, like, the theme of Scar, because it is very, like, deserty it's very lion king um but again like the shade right here is cool it has like the scar stripes in it like it's so cool i mean these all have the scar um not all of them but enough of them have the scar like slashes through them but this one is obviously like a striped color so it's really really cool like a lion like it's just so cool i think it has like your great warm tones it has some greens it has some purpley kind of colors which is what i'm wearing today i just i really like this palette a lot i think it's fun the packaging is really nice like that's obviously that's the scar that's scar you know it's not like a a different version of him no 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 so that's scar it's super cool and i i really needed it in my life so i picked this up um again i had a did i have a coupon i think i did have a coupon of sorts um, but this is, I had like maybe a 20% off or something off one item. So I got this one for 10 bucks instead of the $13 that is like, it's great, 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 great price. Anyway, then I, Wet n Wild came out with their peanut stuff. And so same kind of deal where I was like, where is it? Cause it wasn't available. It was supposed to be supposedly available at like CVS. Like who's shopping at CVS school? Nobody. So then they released it at Ulta. Still not all the products, but I wanted to get the ones that I saw there. Um, so they had the Shake It Like a Snow Globe setting spray. I'm obsessed. I'm wearing it today. Look how glowy. Like I just look so ah, delicious. So good. And there's no chunks of glitter in there. That was my biggest fear. There's no chunks in there. Just so you know. Um, then they also came out with the Hee 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 two-piece sponge set. I haven't used it yet, but um, I'm excited about that. So I picked that up. Where are the rest of my products? Oh, I think one, two, three, four. Oh, okay. Where's that? Okay, there it is. Oh my gosh. Um, I knew it would go crazy. I also got the Tinsel Shine Lip Oil, which is really, really nice. I used it for the first time today, but I really like it. And then I got a lash curler, which I love Wet n Wild lash curlers. I don't know what it is about them, but I do really like them. And so this one has a little... Um, um, Snoopy on here. I was like, what is his name? A little Snoopy on here. So he's so freaking cute. I love, 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 love that. I love, again, I like 
practical makeup for um with holiday stuff on it but i also love like practical tools like this i can use year round but it's fun that i got it like during the christmas time it has a cute little guy on it like same with the sponges like i can use those whenever i want but they have like the fun aesthetic of christmas on it so you can during the holidays it's fun to use them you know what i'm saying so i love products like that and the holiday products like that so that was exciting that order cost me 44 or is it yeah that os that Whoa, crap. Oh, that order cost me $44.90, but I have written down $45.75. I don't know if this happens to you, but sometimes when I use Afterpay, um, the freaking brands, what they'll do is like, not brands, it's only Ulta. They'll like send like your refunds to successfully process. And I'm like, what the heck? What, what? What, what got refunded and so i'll look at it it's only like a dollar something because i don't know why they charge me like a little i don't know what they charge me wrong or extra i don't know if it's tax like they overtax it and then they have to give it back i don't know but it happens every single time i like use afterpay and um i place an order at ulta you know so i don't know it's very weird this video is not gonna be 20 under 25 minutes i'm sorry but it's okay we got so many products to talk about but that was exciting, so that was a fun order. I'm at $400, $411.51. And again, we did not stop there. So this was, the reason why I didn't stop there though for this was because I wanted these products, but they weren't available at Ulta. They're still not available at Ulta. And Wet and, on Wet n Wild's site, they still don't have these products. So if you go to Wet n Wild right now, they're, they say that the peanut collection is coming soon. I'm like, I don't know why you did that or who thought that was smart. I don't know if it was a deal with Ulta or what, but it's so stupid, honestly. But Ult Wet n Wild's website has every single item of the thing, so when it becomes available, they'll have everything. These I had to get off Amazon because Ulta didn't have them. So it's the Peanuts and Wet n Wild Mary Marshmallow Lip Mask. So this is nice. It's not, like, amazing from when I used it. It honestly tastes like... It honestly feels like marshmallow vaseline honestly a little bit so i don't know it's not my favorite but it works it's nice but i also got the um snow much fun translucent setting powder which i'm also wearing today which i also really like um i don't know if this is just the original powder in the limited edition packaging but um this is the kind of product again that i like that is practical like you can use it and um it's in a fun packaging like i can use this powder forever like for as long as it lasts me but it's like so cute it has peanuts it's so nice but i think this might just be their photo focus setting powder in just like holiday packaging i'm not sure though but it's nice so i like it those two i had to pick up on amazon though and i paid 14.98 for it because amazon is the free two-day shipping um the powder did take longer than the lip masks lip mask i'm not sure like what what and wild does and why they are so weird <laughs> with their products like why are some available on ulta and then amazon and then their website's not even available like it's just so also weird but um i picked up all those products from that collection i'm so excited <laughs> um and then i did buy the uh lunar beauty add-in calendar it's not here yet of course um just because i don't know not just because but it takes forever i purchased it on the 21st and um i'm filming this is the 29th so um as of now it's not here yet hopefully it comes soon because i want to play with that and the laura lee um product but you know it's okay i take as long as you want as long as you're coming i'm fine with it as long as it's gonna be here because honestly if it's not here i'll be pissed that was my biggest fear i was like what if i like buy it pay for it like wait for it and then they're like oh sorry we're out of stock like we are gonna give you your money back like i would literally poop my pants i'd be so peed to the core Okay, and then I also picked up the Tarte Custom Kit. So again, another product that I was not expecting. This was, I mean, the Lunar Beauty, obviously, I wasn't expecting. The Peanuts, I was not expecting. The She Glam and Laura Lee, all these things I was not expecting to come out all at the same freaking same time. So that's why, again, like, if all these things didn't come out, I would have been, I would have not spent the money, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I did pick up the Tarte Custom Kit. Again, you guys get seven full-size products. The seventh product is the bag, if you guys don't know. But I got the Shape Tape Glow Powder. I got the Shape Tape Stay Spray. I got the Tarte Quench Hydrating Primer. I got, let me switch, let me put this all back. I got the Sketch and Set Brow um, from, this is a Big Ego line. And then the Tarte Maracuzzi Juicy Lip in the shade Clear. Oh my gosh, so obsessed. And then the Man Eater Mascara. Um, I'm almost also wearing this today. I'm wearing all these products today and I really do like them. Um, you guys can see my video coming up. I should be up on Wednesday. Um, but... I'm very excited about all those <laughs> um but i'm really excited about all those products i love the Tarte custom kit i get it every time it comes and you guys love it i love it so why stop you know um but that cost 68 dollars and 90 cents i think it used to be 
60 dollars, $60, and then it ended up being like 63 because I re watched my old videos and I didn't say I had said like, I think I said 60 um dollars and then I was like and then plus shipping so like 63 and I was like 63 girl it's 70 dollars now so of course they up everything but you know whatever that's life oh I forgot to tell you the advent calendar calendar for lunar beauty i paid 57.50 i freaking tried to use one of in, in, the influencers codes it didn't work the first time and i didn't want to miss it so i was like oh i don't even give a crap <laughs> and then people were like oh you just gotta refresh it and i was like i'm not gonna like i was debating on just placing another order than canceling my four star but i was like this is a lot for me i'm just gonna get it whatever save me two dollars whatever like I, I didn't care that much honestly like as much as i mean of course i want those that money but i did not want to fight with it and hassle with it so then, um, last order that I placed that's like a regular pick order. Again, we're back at Ulta. Ulta needs to stop taking my money. <laughs> but um, this was a pickup order. So I saw that um, the Ulta Beauty, here she is here. It's the Churro Bite Scented Soy Bun Candle, the Disney one. I honestly am debating on buying a backup because this smells so good. And I don't want it to go out of stock. But, um, like, I might put it in my favorites list to see if it goes half off. Because Ulta Beauty candles go half off. But this time, it was honestly, it was $5 off. And then I had a coupon for, I think, 20% off one item. And the candles was excluded. So I picked up a different item. I picked up the Essence Lash Princess Mascara Set, which you guys know I wanted for so long. <laughs> what I talked about in my, um holiday sets video so i picked this up i paid 12 dollars for this 15 dollars for the candle when usually this is 15 the essence is 15 and then the candle's 20 so i got some coin off there and then i used my points so i it doesn't let you use your points so you pay zero dollars so i had to pay like four dollars for it um but i'm still so annoyed <laughs> it's like I wish I could just pay zero dollars or at least a dollar like you couldn't just let me pay the change and that's it like I had to pay like mad dollars whatever so anyway I only paid four dollars though I paid three dollars and sixty nine cents so not even full 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 four a full four dollars but this candle's so good literally I think I was saying this earlier but it's the Disney um Clint candle and you typically I did I bought it for five dollars off because because right now I think it's fourteen ninety nine I don't know if it's still fourteen ninety nine yeah right now it's still fourteen ninety nine. But the reason why I got it now instead of waiting was because I didn't want it to sell out because honestly, Churl Bite sounds delicious. I felt like it would probably sell out. Honestly, it's still available right now. So I think you should get it while it's $15 off. But I might get a backup if it goes down to $10 because it smells that good. Like I do not want to live without the scent, honestly. My dad loves it. My brother loves it. I was like, guys, this is the best candle ever. They're like, oh my gosh. If you guys have ever been to Sight and Sound, it smells like Sight and Sound. So it smells like churros, but it smells like cinnamon, like um, cooked, not cooked cook cinnamon but like bake cinnamon so like at Saint and Sound they bake um, almonds almonds in cinnamon and so that's what it smells like there but in like churros like regular things they like obviously on the churro they put cinnamon so that's what it smells like that's what the scent is but it's on both of those places and we just like have all the feels and it's just so good <laughs> so I picked that up and I only paid four dollars but by the time we got the Lunar Pretty Advent calendar and the Tarte custom kit we already we spent five hundred dollars five hundred fifty six dollars and eighty nine cents i know that's a lot of dollars i don't know who who told me to spend that much money but i use a lot of freaking afterpay and i honestly have to chill out with the afterpay my clarina is chilling because clarina only sephora there's other brands you can use clarina but it's harder like you have to make a clarina card you can't just hit check out with Clarina on most other places a lot of places just say click check out with afterpay so of course you check out with afterpay you know um but Anyway, that was super exciting. Again, we have a whole basket of here of products. But anyway, so anyway, uh, <laughs> next we have a few products. So first, I'm just going to mention my Ipsy products. It's only two um, that I have down here. I got obviously a full bag, five products. One was skincare. The other one I got rid of. The other two I got. One I got put in my makeup kit. The other one I got rid of. I just did whatever. So these are the only two in my collection collection. This is the Firma um, 405 brush. I love this brush so much. That's why I mentioned it. It's so good. It's so bomb. It's setting under eye setting powder so beautiful and then we have the anastasia beverly hills magic touch concealer in the shade six i love this sucker this is honestly the only reason why i bought the bag <laughs> is because i wanted this concealer and rightfully so so good so there's that then i this is another one 
still not here yet but i may place a revolution a revolution order but the reason why it's not counted in my total is because i only picked up a mirror and a sponge so neither of those are makeup products so they don't count toward my total because i didn't spend money on makeup but i wanted to mention those because they're fun and fresh and you'll be seeing me use them soon and they're super cute and they're the grinch so i needed them if you have not gotten anything from makeup revolution and the grinch get it while you can but then we got some PR. I know, like this video is so long, but it's so exciting. I I know. I it's it is crazy. So it was turns out Hard Candy sent me another package. So a few months ago, they sent me one package. They were kind of like, hey, like you want to try these products? Like we'll talk about like you know holiday makeup and holiday releases and and getting on our PR list, like that kind of stuff. Like we'll talk about that in the future. Just for now, I just want to see if you want to try these products. And I'm like, oh, absolutely. Like of course. So they went my address, whatever. They didn't say they were sending anything else after that. Hadn't heard from them, which I don't care. Like I don't. Not that I don't care, but like you know, I'm not gonna force. PR basically I, if I'm gonna get it I want to get it because I was gifted it or because I earned it or because I deserved it not because I forced my way into it or begged and asked and bothered so I didn't know I was getting anything and then and then this package I'm like what huge freaking package two packages it was a huge box but it was two packages inside this box and um I was so beyond like excited so I ended up emailing them and hopefully they see that email and I'm like hey I have a new address because oh my gosh that was annoying but so I guess what it is is the hard candy killer looks um thing. I'm so, pfft, guessing this is for Halloween, and I know I'm like late to the game, but it's okay. So um I don't know. It's like the pro I don't know what this theme is. I don't know. If, uh, I really don't know. <laughs> I don't know if this is a show or or if it's supposed to be like the game of Clue. I don't know. I don't really don't know. Um, but it came with two different like packages. So first we have the this is the um what is this one called? I don't know if it's called anything. Anyway, this is the purple package. <laughs> so they're both like um, kind of like evidence packages and like who killed who. That's what I'm th thinking. Clue maybe. I don't know. But it says like case number number two, the golf. Oh, is this one number? Oh, number four. Maybe there's. Oh, because there's four of them. So I think there's four different packages from each. So I got um, the golf and then the and then the burnout. So you could have got the bad boy or the prom queen, which I'm honestly glad. I probably would have picked. The goth and the um the bad boy but that's okay because they're free so why am i gonna pretend like i'm gonna complain so anyway so date collected 10 31 22 um oh because halloween <laughs> i was like wait what passionate purples and shimmers matte and glitters that's the description so anyway um oh freaking this one has six freaking full-size products in it that i'm just like honey like i could cry I'm not gonna cry because I'm gonna mess up my makeup, but I literally could cry. So first things first, I tried this this morning earlier today, um, and I really like it. It's the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Instant Eye Fix, dude. This is amazing. Like honestly, like I use a lot of it. I didn't use a lot of it, but I feel like I squeezed it really hard today. I don't know why it like all the air comes out of it, but I put it on before makeup. It is so good. It says to use it like morning and night, so I'll probably put it with my skincare stuff in the morning, but I love this so far. So good. So I came with that. It also came with what the lip color I'm wearing today, which is the Hard Candy Glitterazzi Crystal Lip Duo, and I have the shade. This shade is the shade Black Diamonds. I love this, honestly. I think it is so pretty. I think it's so pretty, and honestly, like, I will not wear it a lot, but I feel like it's fun and fresh for, like, when I will wear it, you know, the three times that I will wear it a year, but still, um, so good, it's so fun and fresh, I think it's so unique, and I'm so glad to have, like, gotten that, and then it came with, um, two eyeliners, which was really cool, so it came with a black felt tip eyeliner in the shade Little Black Dress, which is, looks really nice, fun and fresh, I could always use a black liner, I won't, don't use them a lot, but I've been using them more re recently with my eye method stamps, and then I use a different eyeliner to kind of do the, um, fill in the top because those are a little like big and chunky. This one is very thin So this one probably will be nice for that and then it came with the white which I probably won't use But it was still again really an honor to get so it's the stroke of gorgeous color liquid eyeliner um, Is it in the shade? Oh, it's in the shade snowed in. Oh my gosh, that is so cute um, I probably I don't know when I would use white eyeliner unless I think maybe I would do like a Halloween look So I guess that's obviously the vibe here, but I, I won't keep that. I'll probably give that away um, and then this one I'll also give away because I have tried this. This is the Hard Candy Monochromatic Shadows. This is in the shade Punk. So I did actually, when they sent me the last package, they sent me this exact shadow. Um, again, totally fine. Like, I'm not going to complain. But I will give this away probably. I'll throw it in my giveaway box for when I do my big giveaway. But um, this is really fun. This is super exciting. So um, those are really great eyeshadow palettes, honestly. Sorry if you can hear my chair. 
<laughs> those are really great palettes actually which is why i'm so excited to try a big body like this so this is 369 10 11 12 13 14 15 15 shade eyeshadow palette oh my gosh like so amazing so it's the how do you say that oh my gosh i can't say that it's the Future Visions 15 multi-dimensional shades. There's matte satin shimmer and glitters. You can see the pressed glitters over there um, I'm excited about this. I don't know I, I'll I'll decide if I use this one or the other one or if I keep both I haven't decided because I'm so excited I want to keep them everything but I'm like practicality Marissa practicality I'm like so this is why people like honestly people's makeup collections are so huge because I got like I got I'll show you the other two, but I basically got four eyeshadow palettes in one package. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is why people have huge makeup collections. I like two eyeliners, I like, that's crazy. And then I got Mad Lib products, like it's amazing. But I mean, honestly, it's an honor. So I'm so excited about that. And then we have the um the burnout one. So that's kind of funny. She may have done it, but she can't remember a thing. <laughs> the goth says, did her dark heart get her in trouble? But again, like I said, another lip product. So we got the shade um, Dream Queen, which I actually like this, this one I'm wearing better. But this one is nice, fun, and fresh. It's like a lighter, like more tamed kind of version. But it's a lot more sparkly, I feel like. Like a lot more, I mean, I guess they're kind of sparkly. A lot less base pigment, though. So that one's nice, though. And then again, like I said, I got another eyeshadow palette. Oh, no, I got three liners. This is the other liner. This is the um, <laughs> Yellow It's Me. Anyway, this is a hard candy color a liquid eyeliner. Um, this has Lash Boost Serum. Again, I won't be using yellow liner, but fun and fresh. So super, super exciting. I know, I'm trying, trying to hurry up. I'm sorry. This is so exciting. You guys know how much I love the hard candy. Sheer Envy Glow. Luminous setting mist. Glowy setting mist. I don't know. It's the glowy version of this. But this is the long wear setting spray. I'm so freaking pumped about this. Again, I want to use this, I think, in a dupes video to see if it's a dupe for some of my other long wearing setting sprays. But I cannot wait to try this. Like, ah, for free, guys. For free. And then, oh my gosh, this video is going to be too long. Again, two other eyeshadow pots, like I said. So this one had five products. The other one had six products. Like, that is 11 products for freaking free. Are you kidding? So this is the shade Burn um, in the monochromatic. I have not tried this one. I'm debating on this one because look at that shimmer. Doesn't it look so cute? It is so pretty. But, like, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like I probably could get similar looks from the big palette, which is the um naked and famous palette it's the 15 again matte shimmers glitters these are all the glitters again um and then it has just more basic neutrals which i know i'll get more use out of so i'm debating on keeping like these two and getting rid of the purple two or like keeping the two big ones getting rid of the two littles or keeping three i don't know <laughs> it's a lot i gotta see what my sisters want maybe i'll have them peek through because like honestly like i want to keep it all because it is such an honor but i don't want to go to waste because these products are so good that i'm like i don't want to just have it sit there and s stare at me because i know like a lot of these are really really good so um you know it's a catch 22 but it's so so exciting i cannot believe it like thank you so much hard candy honestly from the everything I, I any every from every being in my fiber in my body like thank you um it is an honor and I'm so excited I do love hard candies products I've tried so many good ones you guys know the per eyeshadow palette is my favorite and then the other settings print I just love I have to take a trip to Walmart to pick up a full face probably soon um <laughs> my next paycheck I should say um just to see online hard candies website doesn't have any of their products really they have like five and it's confusing I don't know what they're go doing. I had read a comment that said, when's your new website coming live? So I don't know if they're rebranding, redoing their website or what, but it's super, super exciting. I know a lot of their products are at Walmart. So I know this video is mad long, but thank you so much if you guys stayed to the ending. A giveaway will be coming soon. <laughs> I swear. Um, I, I, I'm, my subscriber count keeps growing and growing, so I think I'm probably going to wait till I hit 2,000 subscribers or just until the new year, so we'll see, but um, that is it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what goodies, if what videos you want to see with these goodies. Um, if you want to see, like, two looks using the um, hard candy stuff, like two different faces, something like that, I don't know. I don't know. We have lots of video. I do have lots of videos planned, and I honestly, like, so many videos that are more, like, quote, time sensitive that I feel like I got to get up ASAP. Um, but just let me know what you guys want to see, of course. So, yes, I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.